Hey guys, it's Musical here, and I'm going to hold on. I have this down at four, I think. Yeah, I have this down at around oh seven, so I'm gonna have it down at four, just kind of like so you guys can hear my voice. But I was contacted today, and I was like, okay, let's uh, see what this is. And they told me, hey, you should play this fan game, and I'm kind of friends with the or I follow the creator on Twitter and they follow me back and then I join their server today and just play the game. So let's play. This is the prologue. My mother always wanted me to be an ultimate. I never knew why she had this obsession with school, but since I was born, I was raised to become an ultimate in a school. I was enrolled, enrolled into every single, single every single extra extracurricular class in my school. Rather, I wanted it or not. It was all my, my mother's desire. However, one day, she had an idea. What if she focused on one objective? I'm sorry if it's not a, um, if it's a guy's voice. So she started sending me to the hospital. Rather, there was a reason or not. I guess her goal was to make me the ultimate donor or whatever, but that's not what happened. Instead, I would have got the title of ultimate Haitian. Oh, it's a guy. <laughs> Whoopsie. The letter basically said it was because I had over 25,000 hospital visits. Oh, 25.00 hospital visits. 4.60. 630 x-rays, 1.027 surgeries, and 6.420 medical prescriptions, not to mention all the casts that I had to use. With all those things, I noticed changes in my appearance, physical appearances, like my skin turning gray and dead, my hair becoming frail, and growth rate becoming way slower than average. I always found it weird how doctors didn't suspect anything with all these visits. I think I know why. When I was born, I have a condition in which my brain could not express motions well. I think my mom used that excuse to for doctors to do all this tests and checkups on me. But here we are, Hotseek Academy. I still feel happy for my mom. This is her wish. It has come true, at least. I never forget her action, reaction when I got the letter. I proved them all wrong. I did it. I fucking did it. This they will fucking pay for what they did. They have said to me, my boy is a fucking ultimate. And now I'm gonna make her even proud. More proud. This is for her. Alright. Omo Ila Sorry, I can't do names, right? Calm down. You need to do this. Let's do this. Oh, well, this is a nice little uh, sprite. You can do that. I was going to meet the other ultimates. As I was going to meet the other ultimates, I started feeling strange. It's a feeling I never experienced in my life before. The feeling of utterly hopeless despair. It's the first time I felt such a strong feeling. Everything was going dark, twisted. Shadows were coming deeper, deeper, until they swallowed me whole. I blacked out. Everything was hopeless. Until I felt my eyes open again. Hello? Are you feeling better? W what? You fell out of the bed. Oh, I see. I'm afraid I haven't introduced myself. My name is Aumia. I am the ultimate ballerina. Nice to meet you. Alright. Your name sounds foreign. Where are you from? I escaped North Korea when I was about ten with or so with my sister and father. Wow, that's really impressive. Thanks! By the way, are you an ultimate too? Oh, yes, I am. My name is Omoa Kishi, and Hochik assigned me as the ultimate patient. So you must be why we're here, right? No, I don't. You must know why I'm. I see. You should probably go see if there's more people here and get them involved in this. You're right. Let's go. She looks so done with everything. You can lead the way. Um, okay, you can't go anywhere but here. Alright, um... 
This is some fluid movement. Oh, we found some land. Hello there, sir. I am Magica Hecada, he he the ultimate superhero. Do not be frightened because I will save you. You know, I just really wish I knew if they're a guy or a girl. Superhero? Like Superman? <laughs> Thanks. I just hope he will my hometown. Getting cats out of trees, protecting people from people, and oh, helping old ladies cross the street. Oh, it's a guy. <laughs> so, so, you're a boy scout? No, I'm a superhero, not a... Uh, so I, I can't, like, tell if they're guys or girls, and that's probably just a bad thing for me. I need to read up on a lot of things before doing some of these things. Seems extremely sensitive for a superhero, at least. Hmm... Can we go into the rooms? Okay, we can't go into the rooms. Can we go into our own room? Because I don't know which one is ours. Alright. There's the superhero. I'm not even gonna try that one. Not even gonna try. What the heck? Oh, so we are right here. I just can't get in there. Okay. Ooh, two people. She looks angry. I should not talk to her if I don't want to get hurt. Mm, so you're confused too? Yes, we are. What's your name? Isn't it a little bit too sudden for names? Well, if we know each other, then maybe we'll help with bonding. Just do it, Yuki. If you say so! Hi, Wending! Hi! Hi! My name is Ika Yomi. I'm the ultimate party planner. Why would planning parties earn you such a title? I asked you, I plan all sorts of parties. Birthdays, weddings, house parties, graduations, funerals, sacrificial rituals. Sacrificial rituals? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I'm pretty good at that. I am pretty good at that. Now what about you, Pinky? Don't call me that. Hi, my name is Kateri. That's all you need to know. What about your... I would rather not say it. Well, Kateri, you are swag. In your point of view. They sure are a funky duo. It's kind of comedical. Alright, let's see. Uh, can we go in here? No. Aw, oh, dang. I wanted to see what the boys' restroom looks like. I never know. <laughs> I'm joking. Honestly, I am. Okay, so that's probably the elevator for the next. And we can't go into the girls' restroom. I mean, we're playing as a guy, so I'm like. Ooh, so we got this one guy here, and then we got another person. No use. The system's too advanced for my limited skills. So that's what keeping us in, huh? If we find a way to hack and spare you, we can get out. That person would be needing to get out. God, then. This chase is tense. Who are you? You don't know who this hot piece of ass is? I am Tixi Yogurumi, the ultimate Elite Force member, also known as Bodyguard. Oh, Elite Force member? Yes, those bodyguards are the most powerful informational people on Earth. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Call me anytime. You want no other things about me. No. This guy is all narcissistic. He's also creepy. Hello? Yes. Wait, you're <sighs> My name is Johnson Gimori. I am one in forty five countries and that is earned me the title of Ultimate Criminal. Then why should we trust you? You're a criminal after all. I never kill anyone, just soul stuff. That doesn't make you reliable still. Ayun doesn't seem to like this person. I don't know why though. I feel like okay, that's really cool. Like we can just walk over the items. That's cool. Um So we can't go in there. We went through there. Um I guess our next room is right here. 
So I can't go in there. We can go down here. Oh, we, we got another person. Hi! Ow! Oops! Oopsie! Chigiri didn't mean it. Chigiri thought you were a spooky demon. Spooky demon? There's a cross dress. There's a cross in her dress. It's actually my school's emblem. This office is from my dojo academy too. What the hell is a dojo academy? I'm a ninja, and this ninja is, is named Kirige Tomio, the ultimate ninja girl, and she will kick your butt. If you're a ninja girl, then why do you wear karate clothes? Why, and why are they colorful? That ninjas were supposed to be salty. Don't question my sensei's outfit choices for me. No idea what she's trying to prove. What kind of ninja is she? Okay, so let's go in here, because I kind of want to see what... We go. Okay, so you can walk on the chairs, but you can't walk on the tables. Okay. Oh lord, we hit the mother mother load with this. Get out! You're gonna scare Mimi. Who's Mimi? Oh, sorry. I seem to have forgotten to introduce ourselves. I am Mi Ninjo Akimono, and I'm Mimi, and I'm the ultimate puppeteer. Did that puppet just talk? She's not a puppet zombie. Mimi is my, is my little girl. She is just a child, so please be nice to her. Oh, no, he's... Oh, shoot, that's a Sia guy. <laughs> Mama, he's just really good, but in shine, like in trailer good. He's an ultimate puppeteer. Pardon, Miss Ballin Ballet Dancer. <gasps> Ghastly! I wonder why he talks to the public like an actual child. It freaks me out. So, I feel bad because I don't understand, like, I don't know which one's a guy or a girl. I know this is a girl. Psst. Come here, you two! Isn't he so cute? So fucking hot. You... Do you know him? Uh, who are you anyway? You probably already recognize me. I am Aurora... Aurora... Repetition. <laughs> The ultimate model. Oh, you're the girl on Vogue! Which one? The first one I read when I came to Japan. Alright, what the fuck do you want, you stupid... Why not suck my dick while you're annoying us? You bitch. Why isn't Aurora from England? Well, I think me and Aurora should go. I think me and... I don't know why he said me and Aurora should go. I don't... Let me guess, you wanna know who I am. Are you a bit young to be an ultimate? Why don't you just steal my ultimate? I also, I didn't answer your question. My body might be ten, but my mind isn't. It's a long story, but I am actually an AI programmed inside of a ten-year-old body. That's why I have this guy- T-posing. Oh my god, are you okay? Um, yeah, it happens I glitch. By the way, my name is Choco Itsuko. The ultimate computer tech engineer. I fix computers, make computer codes for apps and executables. Oh, a basement dweller. Oh, a basement dweller. Computer science is not just for smart nerds and hoodies coding in the basement. Coding is extremely creative and it's an integral part of every industry. Read more at http.com www.brainyquote.com What was that link? <laughs> I'm an AI, remember? I saw Jack quote. I saw Jack quote. So you won't have call me a... So you won't call me a dumbass. <laughs> that plan kind of backfired. Alright, so we got an AI um, person already. Nice. Alright, let me see what's in this room then. Oh lord. Numbly, 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 numbly! <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, okay, numbly, kai, maka, can we for a while? Who is numbly? And it's Sarah God from the Obscure, the Obscure Tribe, Obscure Obscure tribe, obscure tribe in an obscure 
place that is unnappable in a Brazilian part of the Amazon forest. I am a summoner. I'm a summoner. Southern. Why did I say something? Oh my gosh. I am losing it today. I am a summoner of those, you know. Normally, as a god of truth, he explains all. Whoa, calm down. What's your name again? I'm Omer is the ultimate summoner. I travel around the world summon gods, angels, demons, spirits, and all goes. It always goes well. Shit. Scary. It's kind of scary, but I think a young silver reaction. Let's see if we can get on here. Holy crap. So I think this is a morgue and we have our... I'll come back to them in a second. Okay, so there's a door here. So uh, we have to talk to them. Oh, a nurse! She must know something. Hello there. But I am not a nurse. Sorry about that. Who are you? I am Kiri Mingam. Mina go. I don't know how to say that. The ultimate surgeon. Oh, I know you. You're the intimate girl from Gatami Hospital. Right. Have a con. Have a candy. Candy? It's what I call my homemade sweet mint candy that I give to patients. Oh, that's so popsicle time. Yum. She'll be helpful. She is a surgeon after all. I feel strange though. So. She can help our boy with the sickness. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna go back to him in a second. I'm just looking through this area. It's nicely done. Um, at first, I wasn't sure about the visuals. No offense to the artist. I was just a little confused about the visuals. But I really do like this somehow. Everything's set up. That looks like he's gone through and what he's drawing. I guess I should take a look. Hey, who said you could take a look at my drawings? Whoa, I'm sorry. Ugh, sorry, I haven't been sleeping well lately. If I say who I am, will you leave me alone? Well, I guess. My name is Dokoro Emakio, the ultimate illustrator. Not that you care. Seems grumpy, but probably because of lack of sleep. Okay. So we get passed by the nurse. Hello, nurse. So it has solid movement. So we're gonna go down here real quick. And we got another person, it's a trinity room. Hello there, new co- y you know what, forget about me. Yes I am. N no needs to be better. Are you okay? Wanna get rid of your insecurities about your body? Try skinning me. Skinner Mill, sold by 799 dollars $799.90 at your minimum sit the store. Tell Mouse you can't just see commercial lines. Are you okay? You're freaking me out. Sorry, I have an anxiety attack. I am Mokai Komoto, the ultimate inventor, at least for now. Formerly used to be known as the ultimate meat. But something to after some things that changed my life forever, I invented the best technology ever. You're kidding me. Then Hotsi changed my talent. Okay. This guy's hiding something, but I don't care. I think he has double personalities. Like, um, dissociative personality disorder. I kind of have that feeling he does. Also, for this, I mean, great job, but like, I feel like there should be like a better barricade for the upstairs. Oh no, I haven't. Um, I thought I was exploring and I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone. So I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna go see it and if I have, then great. Nope, definitely haven't because I haven't. Oh wait, I have. Okay, so... I might have introduced myself to everyone. I'm gonna go back and make sure if this doesn't open, because I think this is how you get to trial rooms. I've kind of become popular now, not really honestly, but I've kind of had people um, tell me, like, come play this, this fan game, like, I'm 
got some coming popular for playing fan games and kind of giving you like a playthrough for like the creators. Um, I know I talked to um, the Phantom Callings. Uh, so yes, I have. I think I've talked to everyone. I probably didn't now looking at the back of everyone's head. Okay, I'm gonna go back and make sure because I feel like I have missed a ton of people. Okay, never mind, I can't go back, so um if I did mess up, I'm sorry. So why are we here anyways? Well, this major said that everyone was supposed to meet here. I guess we should wait. Exactly. What was that? Boop, 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 boop. Welcome to Kibura Hero. Hero no Shippon High Hospital. First of all, a fucking terrorist bear. Second, Kibura Shippo the what 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 what? Is this the really what you, since you're from say, can come up with this one? Watch your language, Miss Rook. You soon. There is a child here. Look. So. It is adorable. Hey, I'm still here, you brat. Listen, I'm Monokuma. I feel right here at this hospital. Why would anyone let a bear run a hospital like this? Because they do. So basically, I will explain everything. We are all students of Hope Speaks Humanity Hope. So I, humanity the spear, thought one day I could just kidnap you. <laughs> so to practice, to well, help no. you all live peacefully in life solely in the inside the limits of the hospital. Everyone live a harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the hospital. What? For how long? How long? There is no end date, sillies. In other words, you will be here until the day you die. Such is the hospital life you've assigned. Uh, until we die? I, I don't wanna. Don't cry, super ba cry baby. We have an abundant budget, so you won't lack all the common conveniences like poop. At least that's one of my worries. That's the least of my worries right now. I'm gonna go shopping. That's impossible. I'll contact for the outside world. Outside is contact completely, so you don't need to worry about shopping for new shoes. So... That's what the weird ass green wall was doing here. Exactly. Ten points for tech signal. No matter how much you yell, scream for help, hope will not come. So just live your lives and shut up. What do you mean I'm gonna be stuck here forever? Do you think I am trash? You fucking idiotic rubbish bear, I will kill you. No, no. What's the rush? Who said there's no way out? Oh, is there one? As the head of the hospital, I've crafted a special clause for those interested in leaving. Now let me tell you about it. As we mentioned, to maintain the environment of harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyle. And if it's broken, they will be allowed to leave. What do you mean, broken? Well, you know, if one person was murdered to other... Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bunching... Crashing, hugging, drowning, and knighting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Double as popping a pimple. Oh, God. I don't know what to say. That's it? Killing someone you hardly know is not difficult at all. There will be a civil that jumps to Gamori. If a murder takes place, a medical trial will take place. A medical trial, patients will bring up the evidence of who they think killed the victim. If the one who killed the patient is it in question is going to give him the title blackened. Then voting time begins where the patient must decide who is the blackened. If the result's wrong, then the blackened will be able to leave the hospital while the others will be punished. Punished? You know, executed, beaten to death by baseballs, fried alive, strangled to death with a piano, burnt in the state, knives. In an arm rocket, you name it. Okay, so uh, down in Roba, um, I'm noticing a lot of yeah <sighs> current references. So, um, Leon, 
Toto strangled to death in the piano. Uh, Kaede. Celeste and Samuki. It all comes down to creativity. If the building is correct, however, only the black will receive punishments, and then the patients will continue their daily lives as it never happened. What are you- what the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is crazy. Why must we kill each other anyway? Stop blabbering and let us go. Blabbering? Blabbering on, blabbering on, stop blabbering on about blabbering on. You brats never shut up. I am humanity's despair, Monokuma. There might be more despair introduce, inducing than humanity's hope killing. No. You stupid kids, welcome to the killing hospitalization. Everyone's in shock. Everyone's despair. Yeah. Everything we know about life changed by it. Nobody knew what to do next. I'm still there in the climax of all despise. Looking at everyone because every person in that room couldn't be trusted. Anyone can kill you. Anyone can go behind your back and stab you with a knife. There's one thing that reminds me of that moment. Utterly hopeless despair. Is that the um, end of it? I think it is. Thank you guys for watching Danganronpa Z Patient Madness uh, Clapper. I had a lot of fun reviewing this. This is actually a really nice title. I really like the gameplay. It's very smooth, and the animation is also very smooth. I like the character designs, so I think that the artist could kind of work on the style a little bit. And that's only my opinion. I kind of thought the art style was um, a bit... I don't know how to describe it. It just it needed a little more work, and over time that will happen. But it's just my opinion. I think the artist on the way has done a really good job, and I hope to see more. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.